Hey, what's up? Hello, y'all. Welcome back to the Complicated Entertainment channel. If you're new here, welcome. Let's go ahead and get right into today's video. Well, so first things first, y'all. Okay, let's get into this new Summer Walker music that's coming out very soon. Um, apparently, she has teased that she has a new EP coming out, okay? Now, in my opinion, I'm here for any Summer Walker music that we can get, okay? Um, I'm here for it. She definitely gives you a nice vibe. Um, is she always talking about some sorry ass? nigga mm, maybe but she does give you a nice little bop a nice little one two one two okay so the ep is called um soft life okay ep clear to soft life okay now i don't know if this means she's going to be entering a newer era of just less toxicness less of that drama life and she's entering a soft era with this ep i hope she goes into that direction because like i said before i'm just tired of hearing her always in pain always some drama with some man it just becomes comes too much okay but i am really here for it i'm really here for her new music it's definitely going to be a vibe the ep comes out may 19th so if you're going to be tuning in go ahead and tune in and let me know how you feel about that let me know if you're excited for newsom walker um ep slash um big project okay let me know how you feel about that and we can go ahead and talk about that down below in the comment section okay let's move on to this next topic okay y'all so the question of the day is now did cardi b okay did she open the doors for the new upcoming female rappers okay um apparently they're now claiming that cardi b is the reason for lotto's success she's the reason for um megan's success doja cat's success they're saying that she opened up the doors for them to be successful okay this information is all going around and circulating through social media um and it comes from this new cardi b documentary which has a lot of false information in in my opinion um i just feel like it's really ill informed when it comes to female rap I mean, in a lot of ways and she was the female rapper for seven years before cardi came along and you know before her like lil kim was the biggest before her and that's another big gap and i don't know if this bothers nikki but to cardi's credit after cardi's like insane runaway success look at what's happened in the last couple of years you've got doja cat sweetie megan the stallion lotto ice spice all these female rappers are just running much the game right now and it's almost cardi. certainly because of cardi b like cardi was the first big female rapper after nikki well, and there's seven ask, years I will if you ask nikki she'll say cardi became cardi because of me and which and i will sure. and, and, and 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 which means that. i yeah. got all but what i what may actually stick in nikki's craw more than anything is that yeah nikki has a bigger catalog Let's go to the beach, eat, let's go get a wave They say what they gonna say Have a drink, clink, found a Bud Light Bad bitches like me, it's hard to come by But individual songs Cardi's has wow. fewer that hits That must be very sad to have a documentary about yourself And right, and guess who is the entire main discussion about? Nicki Minaj It's Can you imagine like somebody does a documentary on you And then you're opposition is the main focus that is just insane to me okay now they're saying she's success she is responsible for um opening the doors for ice spice opening the doors for when do you see any of them say cardi b inspired me and they can't give you a specific detail of what cardi b did okay what what does she open the doors for botch face fillers i mean i don't understand what she's what she has pioneered and that's all bias and and, and all that stuff aside she just is, is not anybody who's turning the wheel for any does she have a big team behind her to push her to yes yeah, she has a big team behind her full of ghost writers and and teams of people who get the machine running for her but she's not doing anything when it comes to anything all she's being handed is a script to rap and recite and that's her bread and butter other than that she's hopping her ass on instagram um posting botched face photos who what that's not pioneering anything if you ask me all i'm saying is you never hear anybody say cardi b inspired me um and if they do say that it's because she gave her them a feature and they're kissing her ass okay that's my opinion on that and it just sucks to see that even in 2023 um the two are still being associated with and it rubs me the wrong way um yeah let's move on to this next topic okay y'all so iggy azalea teases new music and she says that it's coming soon okay 
Now, am I excited for Iggy music? I don't know, okay? I really don't know how to feel about Iggy, but I do know that she's very talented. Um, She is an independent artist and she's doing her thing. Um, But I really want her to just drop some music and get a hit out. Um, And I'm just tired of all this, you know, mess around her making music. Why can't she just make music and just do the music instead of it seem like it's always a big, I'm making music. Just drop the music, Iggy. I don't understand what the big deal is. But I do think that Iggy can give you a nice little bop, okay? If you like a little one-two, you want to turn up in the club, nothing too crazy with it, but you still want to have a good time, yeah, put on some Iggy. Um, And I'm not talking about fancy, okay? Leave that shit back in 2014. I'm not talking about the fancy song. I'm talking about her newer um, bops. They kind of have a bit of a a little strip club bop, a little club banger, you know what I'm saying? Like a little one-two, one-two. But Iggy, she's good, but I just want her to start releasing music more frequently, and maybe she'll get a hit. Okay, y'all, so let's go ahead and move on to this next topic, all right? So, Jason Lee is currently under fire because he has been showing some weird, creepy behavior, okay? And he's just under fire for showing predatorial ways towards younger men um, in the industry um, and just men overall, okay? Let's go ahead and get into this clip that has people talking, okay? I manifested happiness. I manifested my business. So, I said, I'm going to manifest Kelly over it. You know, I put him on my social media every day. I walk in this party, me and Serge are walking through it. And as soon as we walk in, I see Kelly Obre. And I go, oh shit. And Kelly turns around and he goes, hey my look, I ain't gay. I love that you gay and I love that you love me, but not in that way. I'm cool, I love you, but I'm not with it. I said, Dan, couldn't have said hello? Like, that's <laughs> couldn't have said hello? But he was a good sport about it. Yeah. Uh, then he went and got in a relationship with a girlfriend. So now I'm like, fuck Kelly O'Brien. You know? <laughs> hey, shot hey. your shot. Yeah. Hey, but shot yeah, shot. this behavior is just kind of creepy in my opinion. Um, I have to agree, okay? If you're pushing 50s and you're out here, you know, leeching and trying to catch on to these younger men like that, it just shows that you are kind of weird. Like, yes, I get it. You know, they're both uh, over the age of being, you know, an adult. I get it. But it's just, I don't know. He just gives me creepy vibes and gives me just a bit predatorial, in my opinion, okay? In my opinion, it gives me a bit predatorial. Um, But in that community, this happens quite a lot, okay? In that LGBT community, a lot of older men prey on the younger ones and even prey on kids, okay? So, allegedly, 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 um, he's weird. Um, I'm saying allegedly because, you know, y'all not better come get me okay um but yes y'all how do y'all feel about that do you all kind of find the behavior weird not you know just a bit unsettling a little bit hey uh so jt is currently facing some backlash simply because it seems like she was shading the rap girls okay let's go ahead get into that all right see it just burst in this way like and who are your favorites right now Whoever wants to go first. Um, I think it's cool. You yeah. know, I love to see everybody thriving. I feel like, you know, everybody deserves a chance. So just to see everybody, you know, trying to feed their family and doing what they love, it's an amazing thing. Yeah. Personally, my favorites, I like Lola Brooke and I like um, Ice Spice. I did like that remix. You you, you were in your Now, if you ask me, I don't really think she was shading them. I just think that she was just, like, not really feeling it. You know, I mean, you know, she always shows love when love is due and all that. But I just think the fans are kind of pushing it. And they're kind of trying to make it seem like she's bitter and nasty, okay? Um, people were saying, well, at one point in time, okay, she was a new girl. Um, but I don't think she was being nasty in this clip. You know, fans love to reach. They love to be petty. Um, they love to be extra when it comes to these things and it just makes me a little bit annoyed okay and then people are saying oh she doesn't want to mess up her relationship with Nicki Minaj so she's not saying too much but honestly I feel like there's nothing special about the new girls honestly um you know most of them are just lackluster for the most part and they just don't bring anything new to the table if you ask me um and that's just my opinion on that okay now how do y'all feel about that um do you all feel like she was being weird in this interview um I don't know let me know what you think about that down below in the comment section we can go ahead and talk about that okay but until then um I will see you all at the next video be sure to leave a like comment subscribe tap the bell so you can get an alert every time a new video is posted and i will see you in the next video and be safe